I often talk in my strategy videos about the concept of mastering the middle. This is like the quintessential middle here. You cannot hesitate on a question like this. This has to be quick and obvious. We recognize what they're doing. They're talking about lines, and then the xy plane line s passes to the point zero zero, and it's parallel to the line represented by the equation y equals eighteen x plus two. If line s also passes to the point four d, what is the value of d? So I know I'm going to plug points into equations. They're talking a lot about points, right? Two of them, and they're talking about equations. They don't give me the equation, but I should know that y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line. So even though they give me this one, that's not the one I'm interested in. That's a different line. So I'm not plugging anything into that. What I am doing is I'm taking out of it the 18 because I know that they're talking in code about the slope of that line by saying that it's parallel to uh, the line S that we actually care about. So parallel lines, you just need to know this instantly. It is, it is important translation, uh, have the same slope. So uh, parallel is same slope. So that means 18, plugging points into equations, is my value of m. Now I also know that any y-intercept is where x is equal to zero. So when it says line s passes through that point, I don't need to plug that in to solve for the b. I now know that b is zero. So I'll write it just for the sake of completion here, but that is the y-intercept. They don't use that word, but again, they're talking in code. We've, we've got to know how to read the code. And then finally, I have a point that I want to know. And I'm missing part of it, right, the y-coordinate, but I have the x-coordinate. So if you have y equals mx plus b and you have three of the four pieces, you're golden. That's exactly what we want. So this is why, again, mastering the middle is about realizing you've got all the things you need as soon as you finish reading this question and then just diving right in without any hesitation. What is 18 times 4? I don't know. I'm assuming 74, but let's double check on the regular calculator. 18 times 4 is 72. Wow, good thing I didn't... Do that in my head. That's why we go to the calculator. It takes two more seconds, and there you go. And so that's it. That's the, that's the answer. This this is like a forty five second question. Um, you know, it's it's got to be quick, but it's so great because it it's all just basic memorization stuff. It's a couple different memorization things kind of thrown into one question, so that that can throw people off. But we are not yet at the point where I would say that this is a hard question or a time consuming question. This has got to be really fast and really confident. So if you are running out of time in the hard stuff, check in with something like this. How many seconds, how, how long is this taking you to do? It can't be more than a minute. It can't. Otherwise, your problem isn't the hard questions. It's the middle stuff, the middle of the, the, the test.